Hey guys, it's Michael from Devoted to Vinyl, and this is video number five in a six-part video series aimed at helping you properly set up your turntable so you can finally begin buying and playing your vinyl records. Now in the last video, we talked about how you can properly set up and connect your external phono preamp. But in this video, I want to talk about how you can properly set up and connect your speakers. So that will be the subject of today's video. As mentioned in the first video of the series, you'll want to make sure that your speakers are ideally on a separate surface than that of your turntable. The height of the speakers should match the height of where your ears will be when you're sitting down to listen to your music. Now, in order to connect these PSB Imagine Mini speakers to my Marantz integrated amplifier, I'm of course going to need speaker wire. I'm going to use 16 gauge speaker wire, which can be found at many online and offline retailers. Normally, I use deadbolt banana plugs to connect to both the back of my speakers and my integrated amplifier. But because the PSB Imagine Minis have the binding post located at the bottom of the speaker, I'm going to directly connect the speaker wire into the binding post without the banana plugs. It's also important to make sure that you know which part of the wire is going into the red binding post as opposed to the one that's going into the black binding post. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to connect the white line speaker wire into the black binding post. Make sure all four wires are connected securely into the back of both of your speakers. Now, on the integrated amplifier, I am going to use banana plugs. Banana plugs are easy to set up. Just unscrew the top and bottom, place the speaker wire inside, and fray down the wire around the crimping teeth. Once the wire seems secure, screw the top back on. Do this for all four of your wires and banana plugs. Now it's time to connect your banana plugs into the back of the amplifier. The speaker wire that's connected to the right speaker should of course go into the right speaker input. The speaker wire that's connected to the left speaker should go into the left speaker input. You may want to play around with where you connect your speakers depending on how it sounds and how many speakers you're connecting to your amplifier. And just like that, your speakers are properly set up and connected. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it to be a little bit helpful. If you did, I would love it if you could hit the like button down below, I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna be alerted whenever a new video drops every single week. Also, if you're interested in learning how to properly play your vinyl records, then make sure you check out video number six, which will be the last video in this video series. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.